everyone. Welcome to your slider hit class. We're going to focus on lower body today. For equipment, you're going to need a single slider. I'm using a dish towel because I'm on hardwood floor. If you're on carpet, paper plates work well, or you can buy those plastic disc gliders. And then you're also going to need a resistance band loop. I'm using a medium loop band. Don't go too heavy with it because we're going to have it around one ankle and one foot and you want to be able to slide into a side lunge. So you need a decent range of motion. If you're new to this class format, how it goes is it starts with a slider series similar to what we do in Pilates slide, okay? So it's a few minutes long, continuous movement. When you finish that slider series, you go right into half of a Tabata, okay? So it's two minutes of hip work. I give you two exercises and you alternate between them using an interval structure of 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest. You do that four times. You then get a full minute to recover and then we'll repeat it on the other leg. Slider sequence right into hip work. Now, when we get to the hit work, I will have low impact modifications playing. If you don't want to add in jumping during the slider portion, best way to modify, ditch the resistance band. Okay. It'll make things lighter. You won't be pushing against that heavy resistance band. It's still going to be hard, but that's a great way to dial down the intensity. The slider series are definitely an endurance challenge. So you could also always pause the video, shake it out, take a little break, and then restart it and get back in as a way to modify. We will do two different slider series today, okay? So we'll do the first one on the right, first one on the left, second one on the right, second one on the left. We start class with a guided warm up, focus on mobility and some light cardio dynamic movement to build some heat in the body. And we'll finish up class with a quick guided warm up, uh, cool down. You don't need any equipment for the warm up. Um, let's just start standing, opening up through the side body and the mid spine. So I want you to reach your left arm up to the ceiling, grow tall, and then the side bend over to the right. Staying in the side bend position, so really open through the side body. We're gonna rotate. On an exhale, you rotate down towards the floor. And as you inhale, you rotate up. Now we're staying neutral through the pelvis as we do this. So you shouldn't feel any crunching in your lower back. One more. Come through center and let's take it over to the other side. Right arm reaches up, grow tall, side bend up and over to the left. On an exhale, we rotate down, inhale up. Come through center, come up tall, both arms overhead. It's a hip hinge with a sweep of the arms. Now I want you to stay open through the chest. So as your arms sweep back, we're not rolling the shoulders forward. We keep them sort of sliding down towards our bum. <sighs> Opening up through the backs of the legs and the back of the pelvis here. <sighs> We're going to hold in the hip hinge in three, two, one. Hold in the hip hinge. Hands can come to heart center. And I just want you to bend and press through the knees. <sighs> We're going to mobilize through the hip joint up next. We'll do a standing hip circle to a back lunge. Bend press for three, two, one. Stand it up tall. So starting with that left knee, you're gonna march the left knee up. You're gonna hinge it open to the left. And you're gonna start to rotate within the hip joint as you bend into your stationary right knee. Step that left foot back, come into a low lunge. Maybe the back knee taps. Stand and knee drive, same side. Open up. Controlled circle within the hip joint. Step it back. Twice more. Last time this side. Come to stand alone, let's take it over to the right. Right knee marches up, hinge it open to the right, circle it around, step back into that lunge. Twice more. Last time. Come to stand and then we're gonna find a wide sumo squat stance. So your feet are wide and then externally rotating from the hip joint, you point the toes out. It's going to be a pivot and a punch. So bend into those knees and then you punch across, pivoting off one heel at a time. So we're gonna build a little heat in the body. I'm gonna give you three moves. We'll go through them twice. Still keeping it pretty low impact though, because we start with those slider series that are all low impact. We don't add in jumping until we are way more than warmed up until we're well into the burn. Next move, feet point forward, keep your wide stance, side lunge, reach and twist in three, two, one. Feet point forward, 
side lunge to one side, opposite hand towards that foot, slide it across. We're gonna do a skater up next. In three, two, one. So come to stand, find a semi-squat position, pick one foot up off the mat, skater hop side to side. If balance is an issue, you leap and then plant the ball of the foot down. Leap, plant the ball of the foot. Otherwise, it's out of hover. So we'll go through those three moves one more time. We'll find a sumo stance position, pivot and punch in three, two, one. Wide stance, externally rotated, squat down, twist and punch. Side lunge, reach in, twist in four, three, two, one. Feet point forward, side lunge, opposite hand towards that foot. Slide across. Skater in three, two, one. Skater. We're gonna finish up with an inchworm to world's greatest stretch and then you're done with your warm up in four, three, two, one, stand up. I want you to roll down to a forward fold position. Keeping the legs pretty straight, I want you to inch them out to a plank. Left foot steps outside, left hand, left arm twists up to the ceiling, reverse it back to plank, over to the right. When you're back in your plank, pike those hips up, inch them your hands in, forward fold, and then inch them back out. Let's do that again. World's greatest to the left. And to the right. Pike the hips up, inchworm hands in towards feet. Inchworm hands out to plank. Last time, world's greatest, once each side. From your plank, pike those hips up, inch from your hands in, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll it up to stand. Okay, so for our first slider series, we're gonna have the band around one ankle, just above the ankle, so low shin, and around the arch of the other foot. And I'm gonna lead you through the slider series. That's gonna bring us right into our Tabata. For the Tabata, I'm gonna show you those moves. First up, it's going to be a squat jump with a straight leg abduction. Squat jump, lift that leg up and out to the side. To keep that low impact, it would just be squat, stand and abduct, squat, stand and abduct without the jumping. Second move, we're staying fairly low. It's going to be a step out to the side and back in, squat, hop, out, in, squat, hop. To keep that one low impact, it would just be step out, in, squat, pulse, out, in, squat, pulse. And I'll have those low impact modifications playing. So I'm just gonna move my uh, mat out to the side so I have room to slide, whip it around here. So mirroring me, we are going to start with the band around our lower left shin and then around the arch of the right foot and the ball of the right foot is gonna be on our glider and our left foot will be planted down firmly, okay? So we're gonna start with a combo. It's gonna be a sliding side lunge. We're gonna to come to the top, straight leg abduction, okay? So I want you to picture the left side of your body is up against a wall. So instead of sending the hips out here, we send the hips back. Let's go, side lunge come to the top, lift this right foot off of the towel, little straight leg abduction, getting into that outer hip. So I don't care how far out the right leg is getting when you do the sliding side lunge, I care that the hips are going back. Big hinge forward with the torso. So coming up, we're gonna do some work at the bottom. So we'll be staying fairly low on this left leg. And we'll go through the series twice. So we'll do some work at the bottom and then we'll come back to this sort of full range movement and then we'll repeat our work at the bottom. So coming up, we're gonna hold low. We're gonna take it into a little pulse. Give me one more full range rep, down and up. A little straight leg abduction. And the next time you take it down to your side lunge, just a little pulse up an inch or two and down, up and down. So I have my right heel lifted so that the majority of my weight is in the left side. Both legs are definitely working throughout this, but primary focus, left leg. 
Now the next change coming up, it's going to be a skate. We're going to skate in and out, and then we're going to skate in and back at an angle. So I'm just going to turn to face the side. You keep doing exactly what you're doing. Pulse for four, three, two, hold low. And now you're going to bend this right knee, skate it in, skate it out to the side, skate it in, skate it back at about a 45 degree angle in to the side, in, back at an angle. You have one more variation to get through down low, and then we will start from the top. We will send the straight leg back at an angle, and we'll do some straight leg pulses, lifting that foot just a smidge off of the glider and landing it down. So next time you send that leg back at an angle, I want you to pause. Make sure you're really leaning forward, you're externally rotated through this back hip and it's a little pulse. Can you pick that foot up off the ground? Up off the ground, staying low on your left side. Give me eight, seven, lift six, five. We start at the top in four, three, two, one. Plant the foot on the glider, bring it in, skate it out to the side. And we start from the top. We come all the way up to stand, straight leg abduction side lunge to the bottom. So we're just going to go through that one more time. And then that takes us right into our quick burst of hit. For the hit section, our feet stay in this uh, same positioning regarding the resistance band. But at any point, if the resistance band falls off, don't sweat it. So we're going to hold low. You know the variations. We'll pulse. We'll skate in at an angle. We'll pulse at an angle. Next time you come down to the bottom, Take it to your pulse, up an inch, down an inch. Keep doing what you're doing. Again, I'm just gonna pivot to the side so that I have space for my skate. We skate out to the side and then out at that angle. Pulse four, three, two, one. We start to skate, knee comes in, straight back at an angle, in, back out to the side lunge. Keep that right heel lifted, focuses on that left side. Final variation to get through and then we go right into our hip work. Leg will be back at an angle, so we're externally rotated in this right hip joint. We'll lift and lower. Next time that leg goes back, reach it long and it's a little lift up. Can you get that foot up off the glider? In fact, we don't need our glider, so you can kick it out to the side. So coming up, it's going to be a squat jump, straight leg abduction. So think back to that first movement we did. Coming up in 10 seconds. It'll be a squat jump, and then this right leg will abduct. So let's step into our squat. Let's go. Squat jump, abduction. Woo! You can squat without the jump to modify. I'm just getting onto the mat. 20 on, 10 off. 10 seconds to rest. Holding low in a squat, we're gonna step the right foot out in, squat hop or squat pulse to modify. So find that low squat position. Let's go, step out, in, hop, out, in, hop. I know it's very hard to do hit work after the slider work. It's very quick though. Oh, stand. Okay, we just do one more, one more each exercise. So squat jump, straight leg abduction. Let's go. Right leg abducts. We want the outer hip to do the abduction. So I don't want you just crunching into your side. So think of bracing through your core. So it doesn't have to be a huge movement. It might be small. Rest. All right, one more 20 second push. And then you have a full minute to recover. We're gonna be low in our squat. Step out and in, squat hop. Final 20, let's go. Step, hop.
done. All right, you have a full minute to recover, but if you need longer, you can always pause the video. We're gonna do that entire thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna move my mat over. You don't have to. That'll just be so that I can be facing you guys. Whoop. One of the dog's balls hidden. So now the band is gonna be anchored around our right lower shin. Don't put it right on the ankle joint. And then around the arch of our left foot. So the left foot will be on the glider, heel lifted. That's important, okay? And again, we're picturing right side of our body up against that wall. So when we do our sliding lunge, think hips back, not hips out to the side. All right, let's get right into that first movement. It's that sliding lunge with the straight leg abduction at the top. So we slide it down and up, stabilize through the right side as the left side lifts up. And we lift up by getting into the outer hip, not by crunching into our side, okay? So there's minimal shortening through the waist. We will see this abduction in our sliding series and in our quick burst of hit. So it is always a little more challenging on the second leg because we're already fatigued. And it's not like our left leg is doing nothing throughout this. So I try to switch up which leg we start on. Some of these classes will start with the right leg, some we start with the left leg. If you are significantly stronger on one side versus the other, a little tip, sometimes it's helpful to start on your weaker side. All right, we have our first round of work at the bottom. Next time you go to the bottom, let's take it to our pulse. Up an inch and down an inch, up and down. We're gonna do that skate in and out, and then in and back at an angle. Just pause here. Make sure your hips aren't drifting over to the left. So think right hip, right knee, right ankle, all against that wall. We're gonna to start to skate in four, three. I'm just turning to the side, say what you're doing. Two, one, let's start to skate. Knee comes in, leg skates back at a 45 degree angle. In, straight out to the side. Stabilizing through our right legs, so really plant down through that right foot. The majority of the weight is gonna be in your right heel, but I don't want you to pull your toes off of the ground, okay? That big toe stays planted down as best you can. We're also stabilizing through the knee, so this right knee shouldn't be wobbling around as we increase tension on the band. It stays tracking in line with your middle toes. Let's do one more skate and then we're gonna hold back at an angle. So next time that leg goes back at an angle, reach along through it, little lift. Lift that leg up. Foot comes off of the glider. We're gonna start from the top in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we transition smoothly, two. Last time, foot on the glider, skate it in, skate it out to the side, let's start from the top. Up, abduction, skate it down. I know it's probably a better angle right now if I face the camera, but since we've already done this, you know what to expect. I'm just gonna stay facing the side so that it's an easier transition for me. So we're going through this sliding series one more time. That takes us right into our two minutes of hit work. And then we are halfway through our class. I'll give you a full minute to recover and we'll get a new series. Next time you're down, I want you to hold it down. Give me just that lunge pulse. Down and up, pushing against the band. Equal length through both sides of the waist. Keep reaching the hips back. We have skating coming up in four, three, two, hold low. Left knee skates in, 
back at an angle in out to the side we will hold back at an angle we'll pulse through that back leg lifting and lowering staying low on the right side next time your left leg goes back at an angle hold it back at that angle make sure you have a big hinge forward with your torso little lift up up now we're going to go straight into our tabata work first move is that squat jump with that abduction coming up in 10 seconds you can do it feel mirror me it'll be a squat jump your left leg will abduct let's come to our squat position i'm just moving to my mat and go squat jump straight leg lift rest staying low step step squat hop it's the left foot that steps out and in so let's go out in squat hop staying low you can pulse instead of hop you can also always ditch the band Oh, rest. Two more pushes. You can do it. Squat jump. Straight leg abduction. Go. rest step step hop 20 seconds you got it almost there get low go mirroring me right to the end done oh. all right grab a drink of water if you need it full minute to recover i'm going to show you what's coming up next so for our sliding part the band is going to be anchored under one foot the target side and you're going to grip it in your hands um now we will be doing a deadlift at one point if balance is an issue i would do this next to like a couch or a chair or a wall so you can always have one hand on it if you need a little bit of support there so i'll guide you through the sliding stuff when we get to the tabata we're not going to use the band so you'll just release it kick it off to the side First move, it's a lunge, hop, deadlift, kick. Lunge, hop, deadlift, kick. To keep that low impact, lunge, pulse, deadlift, kick. Pulse, kick, and again, you can always have your hand on something for balance support. Second exercise, you start in a lunge. You step to a low squat, squat, jump. Step back to your lunge. Squat, jump, step to your back lunge. To modify that one, it would just be a stand instead of a squat jump. So regular air squat, same deal, stepping forward and back. Since we started with the left leg as the focus the first side, we are gonna start with the left leg as our focus this side as well. So we'll grab our band and we'll stand on it with the left side while the right foot will be on the glider. So the first move will be a sliding back lunge into a single leg deadlift. I'm standing on the band with that left foot. My right foot is on the glider, back right heel lifted. Square my hips, open through the chest. So just cause we have this band, make sure that the weight isn't causing your shoulders to round forward. Open through the chest connected to our core. Hips slide back, big hinge forward, so shoulders are over knee. Sliding back, lunge come up only like 90% of the way. Release that back foot from the floor as you come into your deadlift, and I lose balance, and then you come up. So go slowly through this one. Balance is definitely a challenge in this opening movement. We want to keep our hips square to the floor so don't roll open through this right hip and we do not want to lock out through this left knee so that's why i say only come up like 90 95 percent of the way so our variations will all be in the lower lunge let's do one more in this combo
You're gonna meet me in your low lunge. We're gonna take it into a lunge pulse. So in your low lunge position, you're just gonna pulse up an inch, down an inch without rolling the shoulders forward. Next movement, we hold low and it is a knee slide. In three, two, one, hold low, no, that back right knee slides in and out, in and out. Keep reaching those hips back. We have quick rounds of work at the bottom, okay? This sliding series is shorter than our first one because I know we are at a more progressed level of fatigue. We're gonna go back to our starting movement, sliding back lunge to deadlift, one final knee slide. And then when that right leg is straight, we come up just 90% of the way. We hinge it forward. We come upright, sliding back lunge. Just going through that one more time, and then it takes us right into our hit work, which is gonna be very challenging, but again, this round is quicker, you can do it. One more time through this combo, and then we'll hold in our low lunge. Woo. So give me your final deadlift. And then you're gonna meet me in your low lunge and we're gonna pulse down and up, down and up, pushing against that band, stamping that left foot into the floor. We'll hold low, we'll slide that back knee in and out in two and one. Back knee slides in and out, in, and out, and we are approaching our Tabata. So if you want, you can release the band now. In 10 seconds, it's a lunge hop into that deadlift kick. I'm just gonna scoot the band out to the side. You're gonna ditch the glider. So I'm gonna ditch that glider. I'm in my lunge position. We hop, deadlift kick. Option to have a hand on a couch or a wall for support. Rest, oh, low lunge, low squat, squat jump. Almost done with this leg, you got it. Find that low lunge position. Right foot will step forward into squat, squat jump. Step it back to your lunge. So it is the right foot stepping back and forward every time. Left flat side is your base side. Oh, rest. Two more work intervals, you got it. Lunge hop, deadlift kick. Plant down to the left foot. Right foot is back. Stay connected to your abdominal wall so that when you go into that deadlift kick, you're not crunching into your lower back. Rest, 20 seconds, one more push. Lunge, squat, squat jump. Left foot forward, right foot back. We can do it, let's go. This leg is done after this. Done. Take a full minute. Oh man, these classes are tough. I love them though. Okay, I'm moving my mat over. You don't have to. We'll just do that same thing on the other side. So we're mixing in that deadlift work. So if you want some balance assistance, I would do it next to a chair, a couch, a wall. Just have that on hand, okay? So this time we're gonna step on the band with our right foot and grab it in our hands. The left foot will be on our glider. Whew, we'll start with that sliding series. Go right into our Tabata work. Again, this one is quicker, okay? And then we're done, we cool it down, you can do it. All right, so square off through the hips, open through the chest. So we're not letting the band round us forward, that is important. 
long neutral spine. And then we go into that back lunge, hips slide back, torso hinges forward, come up about 90% of the way. We deadlift, releasing that back foot off of the glider and then planting it as we come up. Don't rush it. Balance and stability is the focus here. Even though the right leg is the focus, stay energized through your left leg. So as it lifts off the floor, think of reaching it long. We're active through the quad. Big focus on the posterior chain in the sliding series. So that is the back of your leg. I love sliding work for really hitting the hamstrings so effectively. So one more time in the combo and then we'll head to the bottom. So final deadlift. And then you know where we're heading. You meet me in the low lunge for those pulses. Up and down. As you pulse up, you press the right foot down into the floor and lower. We're leaning forward with the torso. We're open through the chest. If it's too much with the band, ditch it. We're going to hold low. We're going to skate that back knee in and out. Hold low. Back left knee slides in and out. We're going through this series twice. So we'll start back at the top. Sliding back lunge, deadlift combo. Give me one more knee slide in. When the leg is straight, pause. Now let's come out of the back lunge and right into our deadlift. Last time through and then you're done with sliding work. You're gonna go one more time through the combo and then we hold low. So after your next deadlift, you meet me in your low lunge. We got this. Low lunge, we pulse up and down. It's quick and then we go into our Tabata work. You can do it. Knee slides coming up in four, three, pulse two, Final pulse, hold low, your back knee slides in and out. So we're going to go into the Tabata next. You don't need the band. You don't need the glider. You can release the band now if you'd like. I like to just kick it off to the side so it's out of the way. We're going to kick the glider out of the way as well. And we'll go into that lunge hop to that deadlift kick. So we can kick the glider out of the way. You're in a split lunge position. Your right foot is forward. Let's go. Lunge hop, kick. Hold on to something if you need it for balance. Oh, rest. One interval down, three to go. We got this. Lunge, squat, squat jump. Right foot forward. Oh man, we're so close. Step to your squat. Squat jump. Woo. Left foot steps back and forward. Right foot stays where it is. Rest. One chop, deadlift kick. We are so close. Right foot forward, go. Rest, 20 seconds of work, and then we're done. Right foot forward, left foot back. We step to a squat, we squat jump. Let's go. 
finish line is right there. Done. Oh, awesome job. Take a second to catch your breath. Grab a drink of water if you need it. Oh, I'll bring you through a quick cool down. Ooh, that was tough. We can start standing with a quad stretch. Grab one foot in your hand, pull the heel in towards your bum and then drop your tailbone down. Shake it out, take it over to the other side. Releasing that foot. I want you to plant one heel forward and then bend into your back knee and send your hips back. Stretch out through the back of this front leg. First hinge at the hips. Then when you can no longer hinge, you can round. Coming up, let's take it over to the other side. Other heel plants. Square the hips, bend into the back knee, send your hips back. We hinge at the hips. And then you can round. And let's finish by coming down onto the mat. We'll get an outer hip glute stretch, which is good after all that lateral skating work we did. So you take one foot to the outside of the other thigh. You hug the knee in towards your chest, sitting up nice and tall. You can stay here or you can then take it into a twist. Come through center, other side. Switch the cross, hug the knee in towards your chest. Sit up nice and tall. Option to take it into a twist. Coming through center, let's finish with one deep breath. We inhale, the arms sweep up. We exhale, release. And that is your class. Awesome work today. See you next time.